Hi, this is Teresa from AnyGivenDayInspiration.com. Today I'm going to share with you a tutorial on how to customize the shape that you can use to cut out vinyl in order to customize your side light windows. So the first thing you're going to do is go to your library and select the pattern that you'd like to use. I'm using the geometric background. Alright, so that's there. The next thing you're going to do is to draw a rectangle. Um, and that's going to be the size of the window that you're going to be covering. The size, size of the side light. So mine are five and three quarters by approximately eleven and three quarters. Apply, and that's going to create the shape that you're going to be working with. Next thing you're going to do is create an offset of that, an internal offset going to adjust the offset distance to about 0 0.100. At this point you're going to be working with that internal offset shape so just move the bigger shape off to the side and you have the smaller rectangle now which isn't much smaller just slightly. Okay so next step is to um, take the pattern and whoa, no, don't take it over there. Come back. All right. And this pattern, you want to make sure that you select it and then um, make compound path. What you're going to do right now is resize it so that it is big enough to reach end to end lengthwise. Okay, and then you're just going to line it up, kind of eyeball it. Okay, let's see. That's the center there. That's the center. That looks pretty good. So if you can see it here, I have my rectangle here and I just enlarged my pattern so it would fit the whole rectangle and then I centered it where I wanted, to, where it wanted it to be. And you can use these little center guides or you know the, the blue lines to kind of match up with how you want it. Okay now you are going to select all of this and going to the modify window you're going to subtract. Alright, so then you have your basic shape there. What we're going to do next is bring that bigger rectangle over and just fit it around there. Which gives it a frame. And then you can just select all that and group it together. And there you have it, your shape. That you will then, um, when you go to cut it, you're just going to go up to File, send it to the silhouette. You're going to want to select um, vinyl. Play around with that though and make sure that 
Um, you want to do a test cut first and make sure that it cuts it out. If not, adjust the, um, the blade um, until you get a clean cut. You don't want to be messing with the details of having the cut not thoroughly go through. Uh, and, and that's pretty much it. Hope you found this helpful. And um, I would love to hear how your project turns out. Thanks.